Welcome back everybody to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to get our horde base fixed up and maybe even do the horde tonight depending upon how time goes in the episode. Um, so just so you guys know this is my first time uh, back in Ravenhurst uh, myself for about I've been out of the game for about two weeks or so I think just because I was so far ahead of you guys that I finally stopped playing <clears throat> so that we can allow the uh you know the episodes get caught up to everybody and so yeah um so i'm kind of i kind of have to get my head back in the game here even though for you guys it's pretty much been a video every day for the last couple months i think <laughs> uh so anyway yeah we gotta today is horde day um day 154 so we gotta get the horde base going and then um depending upon how our time goes we might go do a random poi or we might just do the horde night later. We'll just see how 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 our time goes. Okay, uh, so let's grab all of the concrete that we have. I've been making a lot of steel, uh, so we got here. Let's grab one iron, and then we'll grab all this steel here uh, to get stuff fixed up. We're gonna want some rebar, so let's grab some of that. Um, I'm just trying to think what else we might need. Uh, oh, yeah, let's grab these two just in case we need them for something, and we'll grab the dirt. I want to have... Um, let's grab this in case we need to break some blocks or do something like that. And I need a nail gun. Oh, I have a nail gun here. Okay, so we're going to go on that. What else? There was something else I was going to... Oh, yeah, wiring tool. Yeah, let's grab that in case we need the wiring tool. And I think that's it. Oh, steel polish. We have... Oh, we have quite a bit of steel polish, I guess, that we have accumulated. Let's also bring some electrical parts in case we need to repair fences. That sort of thing. I don't think we'll need nails or hinges, but we'll grab them anyways, just in case. And I don't have any wood in my inventory. So let's grab a stack of wood, too. Okay, hopefully that's everything we need. Um, let's head on over there. We need to turn this guy on, and we'll just go over on the motorcycle. Yeah, so I've been I've been out of Ravenhurst for about two, two weeks, two and a half weeks. I don't know how long it's been exactly. I've been playing Darkness Falls, though, on our multiplayer server and been having fun with that. And then uh, have also been uh, trying some other games uh new new games to me anyways um been playing stranded deep uh green hell and more recently started up on uh the new uh, myth of empires game we have a server going in our community so yeah just been having to have a lot of fun with that stuff okay let's go ahead and get the the repairs going here now one of you guys suggested to me in the comments that it might be better to leave this as a two block wide opening and I agree with that, and I think we're gonna we're probably gonna do that. So, um, but we want to get this part fixed up. Uh, actually, here before we do that, let's make sure that the stuff down below is fully repaired. Oh shit! I didn't want to do that. You know what? Damn it! Ugh. This stuff is so precious. Um, let's keep that in there for now until uh, until we get the basic repairs done, and then we'll kind of assess what we might want to do for steel polish got zombo over there okay now we should be able to fill this back in here is that hawaii 50 sure enough come here buddy come here stupid off with his head we got some the typical Ravenhurst Zeke's closing in on a position so yeah we'll take them out as needed okay let's uh make sure that's repaired yeah after playing Darkness Falls uh, for the first time in about two years I forgot um how nasty the end game is in Darkness Falls and and the hordes and stuff that it throws at you. Oh, Ravenhurst is a hard is a harder mod in terms of of gameplay, but Darkness Falls I I think is the king when it comes to <laughs> the zombies that you have to deal with 
uh, as you advance in the game. I mean, they're just bad. Bad, bad, bad. So, yeah, just interesting, you know, what the differences are uh, in those mods. Okay, we're going to have to, if we're going to make, oh, you know what? The problem with making this a double block space is I would have to redo the whole ramp, which I'm not actually wanting to do. So, you know, yeah, let's just go with this design one more time. And if it again gets smashed up really bad, then maybe we'll, we'll change something up. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I've been asked the question to... Uh, what the plan is once Alpha 20 um, drops. Most likely for the Ravenhurst series, uh, that will be the end of it. And, and then we're going to jump right into Alpha 20. And I will, it is my intention to come back to Ravenhurst sometime during the Alpha 20, um, you know, time period. Uh, but that won't happen, of course, until much later on when Alpha 20 is unstable and Ravenhurst has been updated for it and that sort of thing. Um, so most likely at this point, this series will end when Alpha 20 comes out, uh, unless it comes to what I call a natural end uh, before that time. But it is uh, the day before Thanksgiving as I'm recording this. Uh, it's the 24th of November, so I would I'm expecting that Alpha 20 is going to drop uh, very soon here. Um, so there probably is not too many uh, more episodes of Raven Nurse to come because of that reason. I would very much, though, like to find the socket so we can at least try some of the, you know, the helicopter and some of the other endgame vehicles. I mean, I can't even make that gyrocopter right now because I'm missing that damn socket. So, yeah, that's a thing. All right, so let's get all this upgraded here. And I think, guys, I'm probably just going to cut the camera here uh, because it's really just me kind of repairing stuff at, at the moment. So I'll get everything repaired. And oh, that didn't kill you? That killed you. Get everything repaired, and then um, I don't have the fences on right now. <laughs> I'll bring you back at that point and show you the final uh, job, and then we'll decide what to do next. Okay, so see you in a bit. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, it's just a little bit after 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I got the uh, horde base all repaired and upgraded a little bit with some more polished steel. And I went to make myself another nail gun because you can't combine nail guns in Ravenhurst. And uh, we actually know now how to make the industrial nail gun. So let's go ahead and make this sucker. Uh, because one thing I noticed about the nail guns, the normal ones, is they do have uh, the durability runs out on them pretty quickly. And then what I usually do is I, is I just sell them because it doesn't matter what the durability is on these. They always sell for the same price. Okay, so we're going to need uh, 20 tungsten uh, mechanicals, duct, polymers, and spring. Uh, looks like we need to make a little more tungsten. Um, so, yeah, you got some tungsten in there. Let's just go ahead and have you make as much as you can. We will do the same thing on this side, because why the hell not? And I have some more tungsten in here that we could re-smelt back into our things here. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do the little um, change the graphics issue. Uh, so let's do that. There we go. That should make the graphics look a little nicer. Maybe. Oh, I guess they're already set. I'm missing, uh, I guess these are just low res graphics uh, or textures. Okay, let's put that in there. I want to get uh, some more steel in the other two slots of these guys. Or not steel, I'm sorry, iron. And that will give us enough tungsten to make the industrial nail gun. Uh, we needed mechanicals, polys, springs, I think. Is that everything? Oh, and duct tape. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, so that'll take four and a half minutes uh, to do. I'll put this stuff back in here. All right, so uh, we don't really have we don't have a lot of time before the Horde Night starts. 
So I was thinking about maybe working on the house a little bit, but I'm kind of in the mood to go shoot zombies. So, <laughs> so why don't we go ahead and just go pick another random POI and do that for the rest of the episode today. We want to put this in the cell box. Uh, looks like I have a lot of stuff to sell, but I'm not going to mess with that right now. So we'll put that stuff in there. Um, all these pipe bombs are for the Horde Knight. Plus I have more in here. So let's just grab everything that we have. For pipe bombs. Um, oh, are you guys... What are you guys doing? Nothing right now. Alright, we need to get... Let's get this some of this brass melted up here. Looks like I need to grab one more. I so love that you can make brass in this mod. It is very handy. Okay, so let's see. Let's get our tools down here. This is going to have to be remade here fairly soon. We've got our lucky goggles. And I think we're good to go. Let's just grab a quick bite here. So I'm going to eat... Uh, let's have a veggie stew. I mean, we're in pretty good shape food and water-wise. Anyway, but we'll do that and... Let's drink a mineral water, and that should pretty much top us off for food and water. All right, so I want to put all of these in here, and we're not really going to do any significant looting because there's very little that I need except for really high-end stuff like the socket. So. Oh, we're just going to go, um, oh, you know what, though? I need, I should put my regular armor back on, so let's do that first. I only need this hazmat stuff on when we're doing tier fives. So, do, 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 do. I guess it's probably the stuff that has mods on it that's our regular armor. Here, right, let's take a look. So we want this on. And we want these on. And we just need gloves. Armored gloves. Where's our gloves at? Right here. Okay, we'll put these four down here. Okay, so now we got our normal armor on. Okay, let's just pick a random POI. Um, in town that we haven't been to yet and clear out some Zikaroos before the Horde Night starts. Um, I've, I think I've been through this place. I actually used this place to get gasoline uh, from the tanks to supplement our gas. We got a copper Rooski there. Let's make sure everybody's loaded. I've cleared this place or not. I probably have, and we probably just have repops. Nurse Nancy, aren't you dead yet? Now you are. Oh, there's actually water in that. Interesting. Let's go up on a roof. Vultures? No nasties at all up here, huh? Yeah, we'll take some 9 mil. Anything good in here? Yeah, we don't need worms. Okay, let's hop back down and go inside. There's zombos in here. Oh shit! Hold still.
Okay, he did. There's like no actual door in this place. There they go. There we go. What all is in here? Oh, that's wood. Here, let's... No, that's a thousand hit points. Can we get up there? Nope. Do I have any points, by the way? I do have one point. I have no idea what I was putting... What I was working on. Um... Let's just put a point in Demolitions Expert. Not that we need to, but <laughs> we'll do it anyway. We'll do it anyway just for the hell of it. This has stuff inside. Interesting. Is this a... Yeah, that's just a, a crapola thing. It's not a, a secret stash or hidden stash. Alright, so this one's probably got stuff in it too, I'm guessing. Cardboard box. Yeah, okay. Let's go inside the facility here. We got a stuck Seekaroo and a Ravenhurst Freeze. There we go. Sounds like we might have a spidey somewhere. Yeah, we do. Alright. Come here, you bastard. Look at the bottles of wine in here. That's kind of cool. Oh, there's some ammo. Shammy Foods box. Actually, I'll take that. Very interesting looking countertops. It's trying to resemble marble, I guess, but it doesn't really look like marble. <laughs> That's funny. Take the seed packs. A little food action here. All right, I'm not going to loot all that stuff. We will look in the sinks, though. Ooh, look at that. Coffee cake recipe. Nice. All right, we'll take that for sure. Uh, that we can sell. This we already know, so we're going to scrap it for blueprints. Check the beverage containers here. Cardboard box. Scrap that. Okay, this stuff's probably just, yeah, cabinets and... Ovens and that kind of crap. Okay. All right. Kind of a cool little mini mart, I guess, is what this is. Let's go. I don't think we've ever actually been in this house, even though it's just right next door to us. I know we've done the one in front of us with the bulldozer. Let's just run in here really quick and see what kind of mayhem we can stir up. No sleepers in this house? I know screamers spawn in here a lot. Uh, let's whack these in case there's a safe behind. Nothing there. Okay. Uh, sink. We'll just check the sink. I don't want to check the other stuff for now. Okay, nothing else really in here. Okay, let's go upstairs. Anybody home? Nobody home? Scrap doodle that. Ricky? 
little ammo pile action there. Nothing there. Oops. Didn't mean to do a power swing on that. This just goes out onto a balcony. What I'm thinking probably is going on here is we probably aggroed all the sleepers in this place just because it's so close to our house and killed them because they came out. And that's why there's nobody in here. Would be my guess. Okay. That's it for this place. Let's get our bike and just kind of keep systematically going through all these POIs in this town. We could look in here. We got a car. Sure, why not? We'll take it. Okay, let's hit this place next. This should have sleepers in it. Not sure where the entry is supposed to be. Oh, up here. Okay, let's look in the garage. There's a noose. Not really much of anything else in here, though. All right. So it looks like it wants us to go up here and up here and through here. Zomba Doodle. Okay. Check all of that stuff. Nothing else in that closet. Check medical cabinets, nothing in there. Probably a zombie in this closet. Yep. The Y50. Off with his head. I was talking to somebody on one of the live streams about how Hawaii 50 He doesn't really look like he has a Hawaiian shirt on anymore. So this feels kind of weird still calling him Hawaii 50. Uh, I don't need any of that stuff. Arlene! And we got a safe. Yeah, so he doesn't, you know, I mean, he used to actually wear a Hawaiian shirt. Um, and his, his real name is Disturbed Tourist, but... Uh, well, that's his name in the game. Actually, I think his name is Hawaiian Zombie in the thing. AK receiver, nice robotic sledge. Okay, we'll take all that stuff. Nothing there. Okay, looks like we go downstairs. Nothing there. I don't think... There's safes behind those mirrors. I don't remember ever finding any behind them anyways. Here, let's, get, let's use this a little faster. A little faster. All right. So I'm a doodle. Oh, shit. <laughs> he wasn't making any noise. And that goes down into a basement. Uh, let's check the sink. A little acid action. Laundry room, I guess, or pantry. All right, not going to check all those cupboards. Okay, let's go downstairs. Big Mama. Feral Big Mama. Down with the sickness. What was she guarding in here? Nothing in there. All right. Okay. 
Dude, die. There you go. Oh, still not dead. Damn. Damn it, son. Okay. Back in here and fat loot's room. Let's see what's in here. Pretty high. Oh, nice. This is this is really good. That's the that's the best thing in there. And we got a little ammo pile in here. We'll grab. Okay. Couple couple three chamois boxes. Some white meat. Anything else up there that we're missing? Nope. Okay, I think that's it for this house. This house doesn't look familiar to me. I've probably done it, but I couldn't say for sure. Couldn't say for sure. Let's just break out here. Quick and easy. Okay, so it is about 5.30 in the afternoon. Let's move on to this next house. Oh, we got some action here. Okay, <laughs> that got a little exciting there. So what's so special about this house to have such high level Zikaroos in here? Have I been in here before? Yeah, I guess I have been in here before. Did we maybe do a quest in here at one point in time? That's what I'm thinking. Oh shit! <laughs> Down with the sickness. No, you don't. No, you don't. No puking on my watch. Nice. We kill the irradiated. Spider. It's always a good day when you kill an irradiated spider. Go Team Z. I really don't remember being in this place, but apparently we were because stuff's been looted. Holy shit, this place is a death trap. Oh! Edgar, get out of here! Okay. Down with you. All right. Reload. There's a satchel. Can we get out of here? We need to put some points into uh, parkour. I think. This is an interesting POI because it's got a one block floor situation. Oh yeah, that's right. I do remember doing this Oh shit, he's one of those guys. I do remember doing this POI now, because one of you guys said in the comments that I had missed the bookshelves in this room. 
I do remember that now. Alright, yeah, let's check these bookshelves. Scrap that. Here comes the thunder. Scrap that. That's it. Okay. That is all she wrote. So that means we've uh, we've done the fat loots and everything in here too. So. <laughs> funny that were funny shoot you in the ass Edgar okay yeah I don't think there's too much more to do in here we're just killing Zeke's and having fun but we're not gonna find any fat loots or anything like that so So that's it for that row of houses. So now what we'll do as we continue to do random looting is we'll just start working our way back that direction and hitting the POIs. All right. Oh, shit. I was about to say I don't see anybody that nasty in here and then... That dude showed up right in our face. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Oh, that's been looted. Did I just loot it? I don't remember looting that. All right, let's get a, rid of a couple things here that we don't need to be carrying around with us. So we don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, we don't really need those. We don't need that. We don't need three of those. Uh, we don't need one of those. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I want to keep everything else we got. Okay. Let's check for a toilet pistol just because. Just because. Nope, no toilet pistol. I don't have any murky with me because I threw it out. Okay. Let's check this thing. Scrap a doodle. There's not very many more schematics that we need. There's well, there's a few. Plus we got the research desk too, but we already kind of looked through it and earmarked the ones that we wanted, which wasn't very many things. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Blueberry jam recipe. Nice. Very nice. All right. What kind of fun are we going to find up here? Get it? Would appear so. I don't see any really good fat loots up here. Let's see what's in this. A toilet. Toilet pistol, maybe? Nope. In this whole entire series of 100 and some odd episodes that we've done, I've only found a toilet pistol one time. And it was, oh, there we go. And it was when we were going through the colony ship POI, if you guys recall. Nothing there either. No safes. Okay, looks like that's about it for this POI. All right, I'm going to go back to the base, drop all this stuff off, and I'll meet you guys at the Horde base, and we will do Horde Night 154 to end the episode here. See you in a bit. All right, guys, it is about time to start the Horde Night. Uh, we are about three-quarters of the way to the next level. 
I currently have no levels. Let's see how many levels we get tonight. Uh, you guys know the drill. We're going to uh, just show about one song's worth of the Horde Night because you've seen it all. And I will, of course, record the whole thing. So if something super crazy happens, we'll make sure and get that on camera, too. All right, guys. Enjoy Horde Night 154. Let's do this. morning okay not too bad of a horde night um i made a couple of mistakes but fortunately they weren't um dire for us um first of all i forgot to keep this repair and it went down really quick and then i i couldn't repair it after it was completely broken and secondly i forgot to have screws in my inventory to upgrade the the hatches there because once uh once you the third tier breaks, which only requires steel, then you have to also have screws, uh, which I ran out of, so. Uh, also, lots of birds tonight. A whole lot of birds. Um, which is more than I've ever seen so far on a hard night, so that was that was interesting, too. Should be able to get most of the rest of these yahoos out of here. Uh, the hatches did ultimately hold, though, uh, even though I couldn't repair them. Um, you know, once uh, once we ran out of those screws, uh, but yeah, overall pretty good horde night. We got seven levels. Two of those are bonus levels because we hit 110, so we got uh, five levels, which seems to be about what I get each night now with this with this horde base, which is pretty good. Good lord, when is the zombies gonna stop? All right, let's uh, there's probably just a couple now. Let's just go out and take them out. And then uh, we'll get the the luckies on and check out the lootskies. The base is in really good condition too. Are you 
dead? Okay. Alright, I think that's it. Let's turn the generator off. Put these on and drop off some stuff in here so we have some room. Oh, I guess that's all the bike can hold. Okay. Now oh, that gives us room. All right, let's take a, take a look at the loot. Uh, we'll start with this one up on top here. Yeah, so pretty pretty smooth Horde Knight in spite of my two mistakes and the enormous amount of buzzers that we got this time. Steel knuckle schematic, yeah, what, whatever, we'll take it. And nice, very nice military helmet. Okay, let's go down here. Yeah, this the base is in the best shape I have ever seen it in after a Horde Knight. I mean, I don't... Do we even have a broken block anywhere? Oh, yeah, we have one broken block down there. Wow, that's impressive. Of course, we didn't get any behemoths tonight. In fact, we didn't get a ton of super monsters at all, really. We did have some, of course, but uh, not an enormous amount. So, interesting there. Just got some ammo... Oh, that's a nice. Those are nice. Scrap this. Nail gun and ammunition. More basic stuff. That's pretty decent. Military fiber. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> right, seriously? We'll take that. <laughs> I guess, um... Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. <sighs> I meant to scrap this, not that. Oh, well. That's all right. Um, I guess we could scrap this for leather and... Sure, we'll take a single thing of cornmeal. Why not? Oh, we missed one here. And some brass. Okay, let's scrap that along with this one. All right, very good. Successful Horde Knight. So, yeah, I've got very, very minimal repairing to do. We have only one block. Did any blocks break down here? Uh-uh. No siree. Super smooth, <coughs> smooth uh, bleh, Horde Knight. <laughs> Probably the smoothest, in terms of, you know, the shape of the base anyways, the probably the smoothest we've had so far since we've been using this base. So, all right, you guys, that is it for this episode. Um, I also want to wish all of you who celebrated a very happy Thanksgiving, uh, because if all goes well, I do plan on actually releasing this video on Thanksgiving. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.